Okay, this is the Zukimura HE 219 Uhu. Um, it took two months, just short of two months, uh, working in the evenings and then the weekends. And it is the most fiddly model I have ever built. It also, a lot of the parts didn't fit exactly right. I had to do a lot of rework. I made a ton of mistakes as I was going along. Um, there are a lot of lines that I should rescribe, but I haven't. And I broke a bunch of stuff, and I do have to fix it. But in the end, uh, it did turn out really well, and I really enjoyed the the thing I, I worked on this model for was for the paint. I had never done a, I'd done a modeling before, but I'd never done one this uh, robust, for lack of a better word. I used the Airframe Constructor book, Building the Heinkel HE219 Yuhu by Daniel Zamarbib. Um, I used a lot of his advice on this one. There's a fully formed engine in there. I used one man army stencils. Oop, there, it just tipped over on its tail. Um, those are stencils, those little guys right there. I used 3D um, decals. I'm not sure who it's from. It's from one of those Russian companies. A lot of detail um, on the model I painted in. And you can see as I'm going through, I left this engine open. Those uh, hangers holding the uh, engine cowlings open, those are my own design. I have no idea what they really look like. Um, you can see some of the more, the, the, the stencils right there. And I'll come down here to the, to the aft of the aircraft. Um, the, almost all the insignias are stenciled on. One Man Army does some amazing stencil work. There's a little back door right there. There's a fully formed inside, but I'm not showing that off. It didn't, I don't think I did very well at it. Um, but as far as um, modeling goes, uh, I don't know if I'd wish this on, on anybody. Um, it's built like a real plane. Zookimora has a habit of doing that. I've had more trouble with my Zookimoras than any other brand. I think I'm not going to build some for a while. But in the end, they really do turn out great. They look great. Um, just put some time and effort into it. I spent the last day here fixing some mistakes and repainting things. But it did end up pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I'm proud of the work. And I'm thankful for all the guys in the forum because you guys really gave me a lot of, you know, you really pushed me along and said some really cool things. I really appreciate that. You guys are the best.